Now that your operating system is flashed on your micro SD card, what you could do is to directly put the card into the Raspberry Pi, plug a monitor with HDMI cable, plug a keyboard and then power on the Pi and follow the installation instructions on the screen. But as previously said, we are not going to use any external monitor or keyboard. So what we'll need to do is to configure the network before we boot the Raspberry Pi for the first time. So then when we boot the Raspberry Pi, it will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi and we will be able to use SSH to get access to it to continue the configuration. Okay? If you don't know what is SSH at this point, it's really not a problem. We are going to go through that together later. So now you can open a file explorer and you will see that next to uh, your main partitions, you may have several here, you have a new boot uh, device here. So if you don't see that, maybe just after flashing the OS on the SD card, you can just remove the SD card, okay, like I'm doing now, and put it back again in the computer and it should appear after a few seconds here, okay. So you're going to go inside that folder here and you can see here we have a bunch of different files. Actually, you don't need to worry about all of them. What we are going to do is simply add a new file to configure the Wi-Fi first. So you can do new, uh, new text document. Okay, and you are going to name it WPA supplicant and you are going to remove the txt extension and instead use conf. Okay, you press enter and they may say that uh, you may have a warning, but just click yes. And you have a new file. Make sure that the file has the exact same name as here. So now you can open that file, okay, with uh, any text editor and you are going to put some configuration that you just need actually to copy and paste. I'm going to zoom in here. So you can actually download this text file, okay, uh, with this uh, lecture, uh, with the additional resources for this course, and just copy and paste that into your WPA supplicant.conf. So here you have one line with country US. You can change with the code name for your country if you want to, but it's not mandatory. Don't need to change that, don't need to change that. And here it is where you will actually put the network, uh, so the name of the network and the, the password to connect to the network. So how to find that? Well, just check which network you are connected to, okay? So here I have named my network, your Wi-Fi network, okay, just to make it easier for this course. So I'm going to put the same name here. So you should use the same network that your computer here is connected to. So your Wi-Fi network, you put your name here, and of course you will put your password here. And for me, it is just your password. I have put that password as my password, but for you, it will be different. So now you can save the file with Control S and you can close it. Really pay attention that you don't make a mistake in the name if you just make a typo with one letter, then it won't be able to connect. Okay, so that file here will make the Raspberry Pi automatically connect to your Wi-Fi when you boot it. And now just one more thing to do is we are going to create a new file. Okay, you can create just a new empty text document and you are going to name it SSH and remove any extension. So just SSH and nothing else. So you press enter and again you press yes if you have a warning. So now you have an SSH file. Okay, and that's it for this step of the configuration. Now what you can do is simply you can remove the SD card. So maybe you can simply right click and click on eject here. That is a safe way to do that. And now you can physically eject your SD card from your computer. 